tribalism. Which of the major three tribes in Nigeria do you think are most tribalistic? Meanwhile, welcome to Monday Inspiration on Entertainment Star. Stay tight, listen to the end, and make sure you share the program before you start watching. Now, Igbo. Let's start with Igbo. Igbo people are very hospitable. They are feel full of warmness. They are receptional when it comes to strangers. One very big fault that Igbo people have is that they are they love other people more than themselves. Yes, that is the fault they have, and I don't think is a is a good one. Yes, Igbo people will rather take care of a stranger than take care of themselves. In Igbo land, it's often seen as a taboo. I mean, a natural taboo to offend or hurt a stranger. Yes, that's the way we see it. So, strangers always have free hands, enjoy good accommodation, good neighborliness, and warmth and warm embrace from the Igbo tribe. However, the major problem an Igbo man have is that they are very money conscious. Yes, they can sell any fake product to you in the name of original just to make money. That is the, what that is the negative side of Igbo man because they are business people. But aside from that, Igbo people are the loveliest, the warmest tribe you can ever think of in this country. Those of you from other tribes that have opportunity to have visited or lived in Igbo land can testify to this. Now, a quick one, let's run to Hausa. Hausa community. I know when I may think of, when I talk of um, the most tribalistic um, region or tribe in Nigeria, our mind will quickly go, ah, is the Northern people. You know, because of the religious crisis and the political crisis, full headsmen, terrorism and all that, we will quickly say in our mind that the Hausa people are the most tribalistic tribe in Nigeria. Yes, you, you have rights, you have every right to say that, considering the violence that surrounds their region. But let me come back up and easy. let me hit a stick on your head, something you don't know about the Hausa. You see the Hausa people, I'm talking about the places I have visited. I have visited, I'm an Igbo person, I have visited North and then the West. Now let me talk to you. You see these people they call Hausa? They are, they are amazing tribe, wallahi. They are very lovely people. I'm talking about the Hausa people that I have been to in the Northern region. I'm talking about people from Kanu, Kaduna, Jos, Zaria, Baoshi, and Gombe. You know, I'm talking about the real Hausa from these very people. It may shock you that you will begin to wonder. When I was going to that area, I was afraid, I was scared that they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are tribalistic, they are they are violent. So I was scared. I began to get amazed by the kind of love and the reception an outside people can give you. It's alarming. It's nothing to be compared with. Have you ever wondered the reason why our people, Yoruba people, Igbo people in the north, no matter the crisis over there, no matter the religious crisis over there, you ask them to come back, they will never accept to come back home. They will say no, they can't come back to Igbo land or to Yoruba land. They will stick their head over there in the north. No matter the religious crisis and the war here and there, they still remain in, in the north. Have you ever wondered? I have discovered personally that it's because of the love and the warmth reception given to them by the houses that makes them to stay. I visited north and I was amazed. I think the reception was mad. Oh, how some people can that's it? They feel finish you with love, they will buy things for you, and then our people living there. Huh? An Alsa man, if you are living in an Alsa man's house, he's not desperate about the house rent. No, he can understand with you when you have problem and give you one year, two years. I know of a widow, an evil widow who live in an house a man for two years the man asked him to ask her to relax 
until she's over her uh, uh, financial crisis. Then when she now wanted to renew her rent, the man asked her to wave away the two years rent, continue from the you know from the recent the most recent year, and then move on from there. This is what an Alsa man can do for you, and an Igbo man can also understand with you when it comes to rent. Yes, I know. I have I have lived with um an Igbo Igbo landlord, Hausa landlord, and Yoruba landlord. So I have lived virtually in these three three part of a, 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 a nation. So I can tell you justly what they are like. So Alsa people, anybody who have lived in the north watching this video. Whether you are Igbo or Yoruba, you can you can you can testify of what I'm saying. Do you know that an Alsa man? You can visit an Alsa man who is selling meat and tell him that ah, Malam, I don't buy market finish or I don't have money for for to buy meat again, or, and I want to cook soup. He will say ah, no problem, no problem, no wahala. He will give you very reasonable quantity of meat to go and cook for your family free of charge. Free of charge. Who does that? That is Alsa people for you. They don't trouble you. However, their major problem is that they are hot temper. Once they are provoked, ah, they roll like lion. And I think it's high time they correct that aspect of that of, of their life. If you are Alsa, Alsa fan, Alsa follower of mine, please. You people should work in this um area of your life. You people are really a loving people, but this area of um hot temperedness excessive hot temperedness that lead you into some kind of um missing um, violence once you people can be able to cut curtail that aspect of your life i give you thumbs up you people are loving people mm, i've tested and i can testify to your love yes i can say it proudly i am an evil person but i give you people thumbs up on your warm reception but i don't this kind of um terrorism of a thing I wonder where those kind of ones are coming from because the real Hausa people are associated with, they are not. Even when they are, when crisis broke out in the north, they will be the ones sheltering the Igbo people, sheltering the Yoruba people, protecting them. So I don't understand. I'm still confused. Maybe people will help me to explain in this video because those violent and the tri um, tribalistic and um, a, a religious crisis that always take people's life from the north, I don't know where such house has come from honestly i'm still very very confused maybe help me to clarify what is really causing that in the north because um, i i find it difficult to to to, to unite the same lovely house person from this set of people that are taking people's life please let the house people whenever you watch this video please help me to make this reconciliation because it's confusing me from what i experienced personally thank you to my house of fans and i move on to the yoruba to the west hmm where do i even start you know yoruba people they are full of giddy giddy you know they are full of uh, violence and attack so uh, what will i say that so that they will not come and start fighting me at the comment section no. but however just know it that i'm not trying to condemn you people i'm trying to say it the truth and so the yoruba people you people are good people but the negative side of you is much the tribalism in you is like addiction. A Yoruba person, oh my goodness, how? For instance, now, if you live in a compound where there are Yoruba people and, and uh, uh, Igbo person, you know what? The, once you are an Igbo person, Yoruba person don't hate you. You don't need to offend him or her. He don't already hate you. Don't condemn you. Oh my Igbo, my Jaguto. He's already. You are already out of context. You will just start misbehaving, offending you, fighting you for just being you. That is how your bad people are. Then, go can't help you. You know, can't see money pay Yoruba man landlord. They are not tolerant at all. Yoruba people as a race are not tolerant. They are not tolerant at all. When you talk of tolerance, take it away from them. The few good people you will see from Yoruba land are people from far Ekiti. Yes, Ekiti people are very good, but you see this Ogun State, Oshun people and the rest of them, oh, God of mercy. But the Ekiti people, hmm, I give it to you people. You people are just like Igbo people. You are the best in Yoruba tribe. They are not... Then again, the problem, Yoruba people, they, they too like Juju. They too like Juju. If you live with them in the same company, you are doing better than them. Now Juju then go take the fight to you. Then go they fight you with the juju. 
if you are if you are a tenant and living in a Yoruba man's house and you never pay rent as at when do in fact some of them will even go to X to the extent of removing the roof in your in their own house so just to hurt you you go use juju pursue you come off on your house so you don't even care whether you, you buy it or not so that is how Yoruba people are you enter to, into the market you want to buy something from a Yoruba person you now price my how much is this fish or how much is this uh, shoe or bag hey hey and then you 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 you, 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 you do not give her what she wants all of you lori brook one more john more everything <laughs> I beg my Yoruba I'm still coming, you know. Never go fight me or uh, because that is on a character. Educated Yoruba uh, they have been exposed and they do better. Maybe because of their exposure, they have traveled into other tribes and they have they have really seen other aspects of life. So they tend to be more tolerant and more well behaved. But apart from those very educated elites, hey. 80% of Yoruba people are, are intolerant to other tribes. They are full of uh, hate, envy, jealousy, attack, you know, that kind of thing. So if you ask me, Yoruba, from my own observation, Yoruba are the most tribalistic tribe I have seen in Nigeria. So is it calls for readdress. I beg, I beg, I beg you, don't worry along with work on your character stop being antagonistic and um, fighty show love you people should learn how to develop love because love you people lack love you don't love others you only love yourself you you have a lot of hate and wickedness within you so i don't know how to express this and that's why you see every time i don't know let me not go beyond this this is my observation so far. And please, oh, make when I take myself from my Yoruba fan and my little truth I talk. After all, I, I condemn my Igbo people too. But the way I wear when I good, make when I continue. But the place when I bad, I beg, make when I change. Oh. Based on this, I beg, make when I share this my video, make it go far so that it go reach every tribe, so that everybody will sit up, do the good thing, and then forsake the bad one. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Please share this video.